my name is Angela Broadus and I am a fifth grade science teacher here in Maryland. And today's video is about how students can access and join Google Classroom. So parents, students, this video is for you. Teachers, please feel free to use this video as a resource for your students and parents to support them during this time of distance learning. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. And today we're gonna talk about how can a student in particular, a Prince George's County Public School student access Google Classroom. So I'm gonna show two ways that a student can access Google Classroom. And you can feel free to use the way that is easiest for you and your child. The first way a student can access Google Classroom is through Clever. So if I go to clever.pgcps.org and I go ahead and log into Clever. So the very first step that you're going to do or that your child will do is logging to Clever using their PGCPS username and password. So every child has their PGCPS username and password. And I'm gonna go ahead and type in password. Alrighty, so. How can I go to Google Classroom? Well, this is the easiest way. The easiest way is simply just to click on Google Classroom in Clever. And when you select Google Classroom in Clever, you'll be able to see all the different Google Classrooms that your child is a part of. And let's say that your child gets invited into a Google Classroom by a teacher. How would they then accept the invitation? Well, that is very simple and very easy. So let me show you what that would look like. So if your child gets invited into a Google Classroom by their teacher, all they would have to do is select join. So this is an example right here. This student has been added to my virtual demo class. So all they would have to do is click join. And now they are officially a part of that Google Classroom and they'll be able to and they would be able to access the stream and the classwork tab. And they would also be able to view their teachers in that Google Classroom. So that is how one way a child can um, get added to Google Classroom. Another way a child can go ahead and access Google Classroom is through their Gmail. So if a child selects their Gmail account, they could go ahead and click on these nine little boxes in the upper right hand corner, click on classroom. And then they would select the classroom that they need to join for their live lessons or join in order to complete their assignments. And that is how students can get access to Google Classroom. I hope that video was informative and that it helped you. Stay tuned for the next video where I will explain how students can submit their assignments in Google Classroom. Alrighty, thank you so much and have a blessed day.